Okay, I think this is um, about where we were. I had a little mishap with my recording. So you see how this has a space and it goes kind of wraps around this wing? And I kind of want to put that in the geometry just because I have this triangle here, right here. And I want to make that a nice edge flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, um, let's grab this. And I'm just going to say ring. And I don't want it to connect on any of these three. I just want it to connect all the way around the bottom to the center. So if I right click and I tell it to connect, I can slide this all the way forward to about where I want it, which is about right there, and say OK. And then what I'm going to do is just take this little uh, vertice and click that one, and then right click and say connect. And then I'm going to grab this little piece right here, um, excuse me, this little triangular piece, and control backspace and get rid of it. So then what I want to do is I'm thinking um, I don't like how this is the way it is and I want to I want to figure out how to put an extra row in there. Um, and so what I think I'm going to do is by the way, I think this edge is something I put in. Um, I think that's something I put in when my, my recording was being funky. But I'm going to do a cut and come straight from here across that edge, across this edge, and just come out about right there and go to the center line. And then I want to come from this vertice to that vertice. And what that's going to give us is some geometry that we can round out that roof. So I'll turn off the cut and go back to my vertice tool. And I'll take this and bring it up. And I just want a nice round shape. And if I grab this and go to the side, I want to grab these verts and pull them up until this looks nice and round. And maybe this one as well. Um, what I'd probably do then with this line is go straight back. So um, if I just take that at this point, I'll just grab those two and do a connect. Let's right click this. That looks about right. Um, so then this would connect right up here. And I have a nice clean uh, piece of geometry. Let's connect that. So I have a nice clean piece of geometry that looks nice and is going to form nice. Um, underneath, you know, it's got some triangles and some stuff going on, but we're not really going to see that. So uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to grab this edge, and I'm going to say ring, because I want to put, see how this has like, it's kind of like a sharper edge there. I want to kind of do that right around the edge here, but I don't want it going all the way forward like this. Oops. So let's hit, use Alt to deselect this and Alt to deselect those two. And I just want to deselect probably this whole back area. So I just want the front of this wing going all the way to the, all the way across the top of the cockpit. So if I right click and I say connect, um, I'm going to get something like that. And what I want to do is just push it forward just a little bit. And, and then when I come to the side here, like this one, that one edge can go maybe out just a little bit. And maybe even this one vertice right here can go out just a little bit. Like like so. So now we've now we've kind of cut up to where we were. Um, this type of stuff would typically be done with normal maps. I want to show you, let's do one, because why not, right? So, um, so, what I want to do is, I want to, well, the technique I'm going to use, I'm going to grab this and move it down a little bit. The technique I'm going to use, uh, I'm not going to do that. Because um, I want to keep that rounded look that we have on that fuselage. 
two slots. I think. So what I could do is come in here and I'm just going to grab this and this and this and this and right click and say connect. And so then I would have something that I could base uh, an inset on. So if I inset this down, something like that, um, I have this long skinny area that I then could, um, I then could like kind of chamfer that. So if we got the corners, especially in the front, and maybe like just take this vert, and I want to go on edge, and I'll just push this back on an edge like that. Not crazy, uh, not crazy far back, but far enough. So I'll grab these and I'll do uh, click this back to none. I'm gonna chamfer this. So if I say chamfer, I'll get something like that. I can go a little further with that. Maybe something like this. Say okay. Um, so this could be target welded. These corners could be target welded back like that. Um, you're getting a five-sided poly here on the ends. Each one of these ends has a five-sided poly now. So I'd have to deal with that. But what I was going to do first before I dealt with that is grab this control click edge all there. And then I'm going to right click and say chamfer and see if I can get a chamfer on this. It looks halfway decent. So if I pull this in, uh, maybe something like that. Say OK. And um, this is bowing up a little bit right here. So I could grab that little edge right here. Or even the vertices. What I want to try to do is move the vertices on the edge at the same time. So I'm getting greedy and maybe moving down just a little bit. Just so it looks approximately right. I want to squeeze that in. So We'll take this edge here, the, the vertical one, say ring, control click edge. This is what we did in class. So if I right clicked and said bevel, I wanted this to be a negative. So I wanted to go in. I wanted to um, be based on local normal. And I wanted to, this to be like a really small number. Negative number still, but really small. So negative 0.3, and I get something like that. And I can even go maybe a little bit, tiny bit smaller. So negative 0.1, that, that would even be better. So when I look at that, I have the detail that I wanted um, cut into my model. So that's how you would cut in some of your detail. After a while, when you get more advanced, you're going to be doing this with normal maps instead of doing it this way. But still, that's how you would do it. Um, let's let's put in this um, air flange thing or whatever that is up there. So what I would do, it looks like the model is pretty well symmetrical still. Um, so I probably just keep going. Um, when I look at that, it doesn't look like it's on the other side. So you could um, grab this and like convert it to an animal poly. And then I think whatever you do over here um, won't happen over there. So let's turn this off. But you got to make sure that you're done with stuff that you want to copy over as well. So anyway, I want to I want to click on this. And what I want to do is an inset. So I'm going to right click and say inset and I'm going to do this. And let's um, give it a little bit bigger of a number and say OK. So then um, now that I have that, oops, let's um, go ahead and Grab these verts. I want to go on edge and I want to squeeze them together. So we'll scale them so they're closer together. And we'll scale these guys so these guys are closer together. And then I'm just going to move these guys towards the back. 
something not like that and I'll just take this and move it up whoops let's take this off so if I move this up I'm gonna get something like this and um, well we'll do it we'll just move it up and we'll just change it so oops dang it man so let's move that up and then what I'll do is just take this edge and move it right back down so it's a little bit like that so we wind up with something like that and then we could um, grab this and do an inset like that and maybe we do uh, an extrude let's go negative a little bit and let's um, scale it a little bit in this direction and maybe um, move it a little bit in this direction so what I think I want to do is get rid of this edge here this front edge so I have something that looks about like that and I could put that front edge back if I wanted to I could totally do that but let's just pull that down a little bit and maybe pull the whole thing back up all right so um, at this point I would start to, to make the guns if you look at this I'm probably going to do um, weld this together get this shape extruded out um, uh, make this shape um, try to try to cut in something here so let's just grab these right there as it goes around this corner I'm going to grab all of them and right click and say connect and we're going to slide this forward to about right there uh, we'll take these two verts here and the one on the top and we don't want to do an edge and just push that back like that <clears throat> so um, we could kind of push this in a little bit so you got to be careful because we don't have that thick of a wall right there so um, we need to probably like grab this edge and move it Oops with none selected. We'll move it in. <clears throat> we'll grab this vert here and move it in. And what I'm trying to do is, is make this wall a little bit thicker on the back end. So if I cut something in here, if I cut something in, it's not gonna it's not gonna be as obvious. So <clears throat> um, let's do This, these faces and I'm going to right click and say inset something like that and I'm going to grab just this edge here, the front edge and bring it down like that. and this this one vert I guess I'm kind of didn't do that for it, but I could. So I'm, I'm kind of getting an inset there. In the back, um, it doesn't really need to have one. You can't see what's going on there too too well. Um, I think what I want to do is get rid of this edge. Like that. So it's going to give you two five-sided polys, and you've got to be aware of this when these things happen. You've got to like kind of recognize them so you can get rid of them. So I'll connect that. So now if I look, it gives me that little kind of step back there. So something like that. Um, let's take these two, and I just want to drag them back to make that a little more round since they're there. So I'm going for that little shape right there so then I would build up 
whatever this is, kind of this wing shape or gun shape or whatever that is right there. So I think this is about as far as I'm going to take the demo. So if you have questions, just email me if you're unsure how to do something. Just email me.